morning guys welcome to today's video today i'm super excited i'm going to show you guys why my hair is super nice it is windy as heck wait what is your <laughs> my hair looks bad hi elizabeth wave to elizabeth oh, you well, guys you can't see it but that part's like me yeah it's windy <laughs> it's so windy it's hot out just windy speaking of crazy hair though i'm going to post a picture please laura remember to do it of yesterday it wasn't like crazy windy when we were at the beach not like it is today but it was windy enough to do this to Sophie and Willow's hair. It's the funniest picture. I love this picture. I'm going to post it right here so you guys can see what happened to Willow's hair yesterday. So yesterday, I think it was yesterday, somebody sent me a message and said, you should do this to the saddle pads. If you guys are just tuning in, these are our saddle pads. I have a few at home that I am in the process of washing. Originally, we had these hangers that are for towels. And we hung them on here. But we only had like eight of them we had four hooks we only ever had four of these things so some on the bottom and some on the top and they're kind of they never really worked out because as you can see up here one of them broke off and you could only really you could only really store one saddle pad on each thing and we have way too many for that so like I said this girl sent me a message and said hey you should try this and so this is what I'm going to show you what she said to try this is Sam's storage room. Oh gosh, here comes Sam. So anyways, um, yesterday I just happened to also see that we had like a curtain rod in there. And this girl said, why don't you hang up a curtain rod and then use hangers and hang up your saddle pads, which I have seen before. I think that would be such a fun idea. I think that would be a great idea. To be honest, I think this would work. And I think I have other curtain rods in the in the basement from our old house. We brought them with us because they were our favorite curtain rods. I don't know why we did that. I heard Sam driving the tractor down. He's just coming in. I'm going to ask him. never reacts well when I tell him that you guys have suggested we do something. And then it involves him doing it for us. <laughs> Technically, we can hang them over here. Because there really isn't a wall over here to hang them. See this? stove pipe here it leaks so that's why it doesn't work well for curtain in my room yeah well this is my curtain rod it was just in your room everything all right well if i get a different curtain rod will you hang it up for me today where am I putting it? um let's just figure out where we would put it i want to put hangers on it and hang the hangers yeah i just want to be able to hang two of these is there Oh yeah, line. that's right. It I makes it double long. I... All right, <laughs> where could we hang it? What's it for? I want to hang saddle pads on it. You can. Saddle pads. Yeah, you just put. Oh, you put hangers. Yeah. Wait, do we have hangers for saddle pads? I can get hangers. So look, what about right there? there. Yeah, but well, the, all right, we could put it right there. These all right, well, let's do that then. Hangers, yeah, so we're going to Walmart right now. Yeah. What kind of hangers do you need? If I if I got the other piece, I can make it all the way along the top. Yeah, but we're gonna hang the saddle pads wait, up. How, wait, how are they gonna go first? Oh, they're gonna go like this. They're gonna go like this. So like this, you actually. Have hangers for that? Well, I'll get hangers for that. I know what kind to get. Yeah, they're those. Yeah, clips. My brush, baby. So it's school time. Sam and I just popped down to the barn. We're going back up to do school. Um, but oh, we are addicted to that baby. All right, let's see. Let's see. How do they hang them at the store? Um, they don't. They put them on a shelf. Okay. And when it hangs, you grab it. You hang it in the. Yeah, you hang it in the middle. Usually. Those little things. What are they from? Pants or something? Yeah. They have to go to Walmart and steal them. Yeah. I don't know. We don't and steal. We are not stealing family. But they would have to be like... Yeah. Wall, like that much. That's too far, right? Oh, it can be done. All right. Well, let's figure it out. So today's video is about the saddle pads. And also... I need a foal. I need a foal, you guys. I need a miniature horse foal. I'm obsessed. I fight Sophie every day. Hi, Willow. Hi, Gracie. Hello. People think you're neglected. They don't see you as a troublemaker. <laughs> She's like, oh, I can fool anyone. <laughs> Anyways, it's, 
yesterday our vlog was done in the morning and we had like the whole entire day to just do whatever we wanted. What did we do, Sophie? We spent the day in the barn. We spent the day in the barn, it was terrible. Sam and Gabby love to relax. They love to do their own thing. They love to watch movies. Aww. I just saw them walking in side by side. He, she is so good to the baby. How it always happens is that Sophie, I'll be doing something and Sophie will say, let's go down to the barn. And then I get that fear of missing out and I'm like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> So yesterday we spent the whole entire afternoon down in the barn. We didn't bring the camera, we just enjoyed life. Just enjoyed, and we do that a lot. But honestly, this little foal is the sweetest little thing. You should see what she does. Move out of the way and let me have a turn. <laughs> so basically, I like do this. Look at her eyeballs. <laughs> I kiss her, and she just looks at me like, her eyes are almost crossed. She just stares at me. <laughs> but she's so cute. I, I braided her mane yesterday. Yeah, Sophie braided her mane and she's just so good. But she was like leaning into me and saying, oh, do that, do that. It feels so good. And so we brought the laser down and we're going to laser her, do the red light therapy on her and just really massage her muscles with it because she really enjoys it. We're obsessed. Elizabeth is here on the phone. They have are working from home today, so Sophie and her are chilling, talking. I have so many pictures of Gracie and Honey together where Gracie looks like she's her mom. Willow is definitely jealous. I don't know if it's jealous, but she won't come near Sophie if Sophie's with the foal. So Sophie makes sure that she spends a lot of time without the foal. <laughs> yeah, she's like... Yeah. All right. Well, anyways, let's go. <laughs> this is the problem, you guys. Look at even the even the dog loves the foal. Even Ma Ruby loves the foal, and she hates the horses. I love babies. I know. I love babies too. I love her. I wouldn't want her like a big horse foal because that's a lot of responsibility. That's more responsibility. She's just been the perfect amount. She's like. Just perfect. Like envisioning her hair all long and beautiful. We're, I'm not gonna cut her mane. No, next summer she's gonna be amazing. But this is what happens. I have things to do, places to go, and people to see. And here I sit because I cannot stay away from this little foal. Like she's just so fun. And all you can do is pet her. <laughs> she's still fun. Anyway, we'll be back. We're gonna massage everybody with the laser today. It's gonna be fun. Say goodbye. You have schoolwork to do. Say goodbye. Bring the school down to the barn. She's like, I will play with you. People are going to be like, you're teaching her to bite. We're not teaching her to bite. <laughs> she knows not to bite. In fact, yeah, we've already taught her not to bite. I like we've playing with her. Mouth. Yeah, I know. I like playing with her ears. Her ears. <laughs> I love her head. She likes it too. Like every single spot of her body that you touch, she's like, oh, do it more, please, please, do it more. <laughs> yeah, oh, her eyes. Yeah, you like it, huh? Every single bit. Her nose is so small. You can even play with her tail and she's happy. Oh, that was not happy. Oh, <laughs> look, the tail goes. What is it? What was wrong? She's like, I want to choose something. Yeah, she's like Chino. She loves a good rope. And it's been 10 minutes and we're still sitting here. This is how Sophie sucks me out of time. Yeah, you're such a cute baby. Yes, you are. Yeah. How to spend more time down at the barn. <laughs> he and Ruby. Ruby's like, oh, I just love her ears. I love her nose. <laughs> I love her belly. <laughs> Hello. Oh, goodness. All right. Say goodbye for real. Take off her halter and let's go. <laughs> no. She can come with us. Let's go. <laughs> come on. Come on, Ruby. You got to come too. <laughs> Sophie's like, she's just so cute. I was watching a video. What video was it? It was some video. And the lady was like, She's following you. Oh. Following me to the door. No, Laura. No, don't go back, Laura. Don't do it. Come on, Sophie. 
We gotta go. Let's go, honestly. No, come on, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> She's blocking me from getting out. But anyway, my point is, is that I saw this video, I was watching this video, and the mom, I think it was the mom of a baby, and the baby was so cute. And she was like, you're so cute, you're so cute. And I'm like, that is so annoying. And then I was thinking, yeah, that's me with honey. Okay, so Sam and I are headed out to do a bit of running around. Sam was telling me this morning that Penny was actually mad at him because he was late for breakfast. And they get mad, like, they know time and they get mad. What? Like standing at the, at the fence, whinnying at me, like, hurry up and bring me my boot. And she kept doing that a bunch of times. And that was when I got up. Because then when I got outside, she looked at me and did it again. It's like, bring me my breakfast. Because we have the time change, she hasn't gotten used to that yet. So she was like mad that we were an hour later for breakfast. I'm in this pet store. It's a huge pet store. It's where I come to get our crickets. I like to look around every time I'm here because that's just how I am. These are Neon Dwarf Garami. Garami. Aren't they cute? With the split tails, that's probably injured maybe. I love these Tetras though, they glow in the dark. They're so cute. Look at how cute the pink ones are. Baby angelfish, or at least they look small. Sophie loves fish, but I'm not getting her any more pets, don't worry. Don't stress out, but this is a really cute tank. Wow, an Oscar fish. He's like, I will eat you. Isn't he beautiful? He thinks he's getting fed. I show you guys these every time we come in. Oh, I would love a bunch of, oh, you are adorable. Sorry, scared you. Aren't they adorable? And then they have little guinea pigs. Aren't they adorable? And then, over here they have a little ferret, two ferrets actually, and they're sleeping. Sam is working hard on this. We're gonna show you guys in just a second. On the reveal tomorrow, Gabby wasn't here when we discovered, decided on this. Gabby, can you help me move these? Where are you putting it, Sam? So I might just put it there, and then the pole goes through on, I got three poles until I can find this other one. The right. hanger? Yeah, but the only problem is that the saddle pads, once they come down, will cover that window. They won't cover the window. Oh, okay. As long as they don't cover the window, I'm good. I ordered some clips. I ordered 60 clips. But then I was looking at them, and then it, uh, I think you have to use two clips for each saddle pad, which is going to suck. Which I don't know if that will work. But anyways, I'm excited. Oh, hello, Miss Minnie. You need to brush her. I know. <laughs> She was either, rolling. Yeah, she rolled. She was rolling. She's like, yes, it's my time to shine. It's so cool. we brought some apples down, and Sophie's gonna work with Miss Willow. Sophie's gonna help. Gabby's gonna help Sam because she loves her stuff. Like, she gravitates to it. I didn't even say, hey, Gabby, can you help your dad? She just took over. Time for tying. She's pretty good at tying. She's so She's good at tying. She can chew something, but. <laughs> This is how we brush the pony. Hey, you know, Daddy, baby. That's all we're sassy. Yeah, see, you can tell when the sass happens. All that happens is the tail wags. I've learned so many things about horses. Gracie will do anything for treats. I'm coming out there with you, Gabby. We have carrots. Oh, yeah, we do. We have carrots and we have apples. Uh, the, yeah, your hair matches. Look at her belly. Have you ever seen anything more cute? Yeah, I was just playing a pony. Whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're pooping everywhere. I have to clean up the poo in here. <laughs> and that, my friends, is the difference between treats and no treats. Uh, any horse will do anything if it gets the right motivation. And people, some people say that they... do anything without hesitation. Most of them will. Like she t clearly has g had time to get used to this thing being in here. 
Yes. We've lost the mini. We can't find her. Can you guys find her? Look all around the barn. We can't find her anywhere. She was here just a second ago. And now she's gone. Wait, do you guys see something moving behind the tree, behind the barrel? <laughs> Hello, little fool. Did you guys know that when fools are meeting new horses for the first time, they often do this thing with their mouth. Do like kind of like a a little biting thing. Penny did it the other day to Penny. To Honey did it the other day to Penny. And I was like, I bet you that means something. So I looked it up and it's basically what fools do when they introduce to a new horse. And it's them saying, I'm not a threat. Don't hurt me. I'm a baby. <laughs> And then I was like, oh my gosh, I wish I had caught that on camera. It was the most adorable thing. Clearly the horses understood it because none of them try and hurt her. Oh, I see. This is what's her pooping spot, you guys. The other horses poop down there. Honey poops here. The, school, the schools are canceled here. Like in our area, uh, the support staff at schools are on strike, so all the kids are doing remote learning, which sucks. Anyway, I'm gonna take the, a minute right now, give you guys an update, a life update. So basically, somebody, one of our subscribers, Lena, commented yesterday and said, you guys don't have a trainer. That's why you're not doing any riding videos. And I was like, what the heck? I don't know why anybody would even think that so i decided it's time to do a life update and discuss like the future of our channel and where we're headed and so i feel like right now we're in a transition and i feel like this transition has been coming for a long time uh you guys know we're looking for a horse for sophia uh, she wants a riding horse and uh, this we are looking if something comes up that is just perfect for her then we're gonna jump on it we're not gonna like just wait but we're trying to I told you guys in a previous video that our girls have only ever been subjected to like hunter jumper stuff. We don't know anything about western riding or like, or showmanship or like any of that stuff. We've never been taught any of that stuff. And so it's something that I know Sophie is really interested in. Gabby has made it clear that she's a hunter through and through and hasn't expressed any desire to try anything different. Sophie absolutely does want to try other things. She loves jumping. She is a jumper. That's what she keeps on telling me. She wants a horse that can jump. But we have arranged for her to try some other disciplines. So the barn that she's going to be going to is only open in the spring till fall. So she won't go till early spring. So we, she's going to be taking some lessons at another barn just to see so she can explore her options. And I don't want to waste buying a horse for her when she's on the verge of trying so many different disciplines. So in light of that, I don't want to buy her a horse right this minute if she changes disciplines. Like she loves jumping. I don't know what, I don't know what's going to happen. So there's that with the whole Sophia horse. She's getting a riding horse. There's always, I feel bad that she doesn't have a riding horse. She misses having a riding horse, but we don't want to get a horse right now in the winter and then all of a sudden in the spring she decides to change disciplines. She wants to try just dressage and she wants to try showmanship and she wants to show the minis. Like, Sophie has a lot 
that she wants to do. So we're waiting to do that to figure out what Sophie needs. The reason that we haven't been posting a lot of riding videos is one, I'm behind on them. And once you get behind on them, it feels weird. Like Chino's back at the lesson bar now and videos that I have that I haven't posted are all of Gabby riding Lily. They're from so far back. So uh, we do have a trainer. Our trainer is the same trainer. It's getting cold now and the girls and I discussed it and we decided that we're going to only ride one time a week. Uh, through the winter so currently we ride two times a week in the past we've ridden three times a week um, especially during like show season and stuff but we're gonna only ride one time a week through the winter so if he doesn't even have a horse and Gabby's bringing Chino back and we're driving Chino in so our trainer is still there he's still good it's his, still his job so I think that's it you guys I think that's our life update the future of our channel is that uh, we're branching out we're doing new things this new Spring that's coming we are branching out we're gonna be doing different things not for our YouTube viewers but for our kids for our family I want them to like experience more and I think that's something that a lot of people never get they go to one barn and they end up doing whatever they teach there and that's it and I and Sophie really wants to try that stuff Gabby's happy where she is she's happy riding with her friends she's happy Making a lot of noise with the arena right now. Anyway, that's it. I think I have too much footage. I'm going to give these guys some lunch. Oh, a Penny and Chino have been outside longer each day. So when we come to like play with the horses in the afternoon, then it's always like the horses don't come in until later in the day. So that'll end soon. Soon they'll be in all the time or they'll all be out together in the big field. Yeah. Look at her face though. You see he like narrow her face is like it's got that weird shape to it both her parents have that shape or her dad has that shape but that's it i think that's like the best life update i can give right now we still love you guys we still are doing youtube we're still excited to do youtube I'm excited for the holiday season. I'm excited for Christmas. I'm excited for horse shopping with Sophie. I'm excited to try different disciplines and learn new things. I'm excited to show the minis. I want my own mini now. Like, I love that mini, you guys. Like, you have no idea how much I love her. I've, like, never been so inspired to read and to learn and to grow and to, like, oh, man, we have a lot of help with her. We have a lot of people, like, explaining stuff to us and telling us what to do, and it's just been so awesome. I figured out what Chino's good at. It took all this time. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way you are. Just the way you can. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Don't you know that you're beautiful?